Says, One of the but... best things I was ever told by a bride was, um, I was like, do you want to put your favorite dress back on? And she goes, honestly, no, because I don't want to lose that magic feeling of having that dress on. She was like, the less I try it on, the more magic is there, because the more I try it on, it just becomes like any other dress. Interesting. Right? Interesting. And I was like, wow. Also, too, I think it's important that brides can say yes on the first dress that they try Absolutely. on. Absolutely. They think there's like this taboo, like, like what there's else like is this out like there? unwritten. Well, not yeah. even. It's like a written rule saying that they can't. And you know what? When you find the dress, you found the dress. Yeah, yeah. It's mm -hmm. so important to have a wedding date yeah. where you come bridal dress shopping. You know, again, I think we've touched on this before too. Mm -hmm. Like, just keep in mind that there are so many brides out there that actually have wedding dates that are not just plain dress up. <laughs> I always tell my friends, enjoy your single moment all you can because one day you'll wake up and meet the love of your life and that's it. That's it, your single phase is over forever, yeah. hopefully. Well, I, I think that's how I feel about Justin. Maybe it's a sign. Um, Pennywise is here. <gasps> oh. Everything is like, oh well, that's, you have to bump up your budget. Like flowers, I'm doing flowers right now and it's like everything is almost like, okay, bump up that budget. At one point where I wanted to spend no more than 5,000 on flowers, mm -hmm. we're, we're up to eight now. So it's like, that's kind of just everything in the bridal industry right now, I feel too. Please step out of your mayonnaise jar. <laughs> mayonnaise jar? Have you heard that one? No. Really? Oh, yeah. That's some really funny, <laughs> unheard of saying. It means like you're living in a, in a bubble. You always go off on little We're not a very stuffy bridal store, like at no, all. No, we're definitely no. not. We're much more like laid we're back. We're gonna be your friends. Yeah. 100%. Like, you're I not just a sales house. Yeah. Like it, it is, it definitely is more than that. But again, like it Shout is. out to all my brides who follow me on Instagram and I follow you back and we, you know, chat constantly. <laughs> like they're actually my friends. Hello, ladies, and welcome to another episode of Brides, Brides Booze, Booze, and Boobs. Hi, everyone. How are we today? You sound like a fairy godmother. I'm a curvy godmother. <laughs> I'm a fairy godmother. That's true. God damn it. Okay, um, I'm good. How are you, Andrea? I'm I'm good. I heard <laughs> you went to bed at what time last night? Early, 2.30. Early? 2.30 in the afternoon. In the morning. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my version of early. That'd be, that'd be my yeah. version of early as well. No, it's okay. The bar I go to ended their Thursday nights last night, so. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. Don't tell anyone where you go. I don't. I'll go there and stalk it's you. It's probably for the best, though. You already have enough stalkers as it is. <laughs> I do. True story. I actually wanted True to hear facts. a little bit about your dating life recently. Oh, my God. Where do I start? <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, it's kind of sad at the moment, but like in a good way, because I really enjoy being single. And I like to say me and my friends are main characters and this season's show ended. So now we're getting new characters and like this season's main characters have They're become like side stars. They, they are. are guest stars. And like sometimes <clears throat> they make guest appearances too. Like there are some reoccurring figures. Interesting. But yeah. Well, there's a guy me. that went away to school now, right? Yes, oh. he did. Are you oh. sad? I am a little sad. He just committed to, oh, he's younger than me. He's committed? Well, well you are a cougar. I am, I am a cougar. cougar. <laughs> he's two years younger than me. But yeah, he committed to um, don't a, say it. A school down south. So oh, bummer. Yeah. Long distance? No. We're not about no, that. No, we're life. just we're just friends. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I have no comment. Well, I'm right sure now. he'll be home soon, but otherwise the dating scene is it it's atrocious. Is it getting wild? <laughs> it's atrocious. Like I don't remember the dating scene anymore. But. Well, it's really hit or miss. <laughs> I know a lot of people meet their fiancés on dating apps. Like me. me yeah. And then um <laughs> Elle, she met her fiance on a dating app and stuff so dating apps i feel like are good but it really just depends on how that's old just, you are and what you're looking for yeah and i think that's the way of the world at this yeah. point too but i don't know i feel like there's older people too that are finding love on dating apps so oh yeah not my I think mom it's just the way that it is. oh i'm sorry for your mom <laughs> she has the sorry, worst mom. look on dating apps well dating apps honestly give me anxiety because i'm like i hope they think i look like how I look in pictures type of thing. And I don't know, it's just, it's a lot of stress. Like I'd rather meet someone in person. So then yeah. what you see is what you get. Yeah, true. Old school. But then yeah. like, even when you meet someone in person, it's not always what you see is what you get. Cause your personality is always, it's like a front of yeah. like for who you really are. But I don't know, I feel like it's hit or miss either way. I agree. <laughs> But you'll find your person in the right time. I feel like everyone does. Oh, yeah. I'm not worried. And, like, honestly, I really love just spending time with my friends and stuff. And I feel like this is a good time for me to focus on, like, getting myself together because I'm looking for an apartment and, you know, 
doing adult things. <laughs> doing so, adult yeah. things. It's I a do weird always, time. I always tell She's my going friends. going out into the world. I, am. <laughs> I always tell my friends, enjoy your single moment while you can because one day you'll wake up and meet the love of your life and that's it. That's it. Your single phase is over forever, yeah. hopefully. Well, like, I th- that's how I feel about Justin. <laughs> oh, I know. Like, I think about that. Like, I was really hormonal this week, and it was not fun. But I was kind of, like, sad. And Me I, too. It, oh, my God. I was very emotional this week, and I'm not usually like really? that. Really? Very emotional. I lashed out at I was very angry. Everyone. Me too. I was angry I and sad. I issues. I don't know what. Maybe I wasn't it was a full sad. Moon. I was just Was like, there a full moon this week? I don't know, but I was just very angry and sad. Didn't something go into something? Probably. Some moon went into yes, something. I heard into about Virgo, that. I think. And it was supposed no, to be like it it was supposed to put a lot of doubt in our minds. Oh, and I then that. they were like, just wait it out, ride the wave. Yeah. <laughs> but don't like they, they were all like, you're on the right path. Just you know, don't let the doubt seep in. Yeah, it was just only going to last like a day. Yeah. But I was a very angry person this week. I don't know, <laughs> probably because of outside circumstances but besides that i felt pretty <laughs> neutral <laughs> no i don't know i neutral i was in a phase where i just i missed having a person and missed having a boyfriend but now that my period's coming to an end i'm like oh Ew, so that was your week <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, i don't know i didn't have that excuse but i don't know that's good though i'm yeah. glad so i hope if there are any single ladies out there which i highly doubt because if you're listening you're probably engaged well true but there could be some you never yeah. know yeah yeah, maybe they tell their friends about us. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> tell okay. all your friends. Well, today is going to be a little bit more educational oh. about what to expect yeah. during your fitting. Dur- well, not your dur- fitting appointment. No, yeah, your, not your fitting. Your bridal your bridal styling appointment. appointment. Is that what mm. we're calling it? Yeah, I guess. I, guess. We, yeah, I feel like we call it yeah, your bridal appointment. Your Trying your, on dresses. Everyone has a different thing when they call. Mm-hmm. They'll be like, oh, I wanted to make an appointment for my fitting, and I'm thinking they're talking about the alteration, and then they're like, yeah. no, to try on dresses. Yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah. not a fitting. Mm-hmm. My consultation appointment. Yeah. My styling appointment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever. Just bridal appointments. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I mean, if you're nervous about coming in to try on dresses, don't be. Yeah. I'll tell we you have right a now, very don't. wide variety of dresses in all different sizes that <clears throat> you can definitely get clipped into. Every single one of my brides come in, they're like, I was so nervous I had to be yanked out of the car today to come in here. And I'm like, that's really sad. I don't want you to feel that way. And then they leave here like my best friend. Yeah. Yeah. We should get like other girls maybe to like do like um, little like video submissions about like their... um, uh, their experience yeah, yeah that would at be their bridal fun. appointment you know girls of like different sizes even like girls that are like smaller mid-size yeah. or, well mm-hmm. what's really nice about our store is that we have I mean we're obviously catering to the curvy girls but we right. even take size two and zero brides yeah. mm-hmm. very size inclusive yeah because the thing is is that we've talked about this before it doesn't matter if you're zero and you're going to get clipped doesn't matter like you're gonna get clipped yeah. no matter yeah. what or the if you're 12 the only thing I would say is like the boob well, size the boob, yeah the, the boob, boob size, size is rough. you know what we should kind of like we'll talk about that after I'm gonna write a note this is why I needed my pen by the way <laughs> we could have <laughs> shared well, I don't need to share your sharing pen sharing is caring hello COVID <laughs> Monkey pox. Monkey pox. <laughs> Keep your monkey pox Leah, to yourself. <laughs> me and Leah go to the gym and like she put this little seed in my head. Now every time I feel like, what if like I'm touching someone that had like did the you pox? do you That's wipe keep, down? Oh, do I keep, keep a wipe. Like, wipe. I yeah. keep wipes I for, in my hands. I forgot the idea. Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> <gasps> this pen doesn't work. They're a little rough lately. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, keep talking. I'm just writing my so I don't forget. So let's talk about when you first call or email to make a bridal appointment. Yes. You, you're usually greeted by Leah or whoever's near oh, the phone. Me. That's so nice. <laughs> yes. Um, well, a lot of people do it online too. So like that no contact, like the no voice contact. Which it's listen, very it's very easy. I would love <clears throat> to be like when they call, just shoot them an email and be like, here's all the information. Because mm-hmm. we have to take a lot of info on the phone. Yeah. And then sometimes the other phone's ringing while the one lot you're on the phone and you're like, oh, hold on. You know, you don't want to say hold on, but then you lose the other call. Yeah. And it's just sometimes it's a pain yeah. in the neck. I well, would love to just be like, here's an email. Fill this shit all out. When, I was, a, <laughs> <laughs> when I was a hostess, you could not let the phone ring. Like you'd have to put people on hold and pick up the phone. I ring Kirby Bridal, please hold. Holds. I do that. Yeah. I'll tell people to hold. Mm-hmm. But then you have to, if the other person on that one side is like on like yeah. a roll talking, you be like, oh, 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 one yeah. second, one second, hold, can yeah. you please hold? In the restaurant like, business, yeah. they literally tell you just stop them, hold. Yeah. 
answer, hold, and then go back. Interesting. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god. I don't miss the waitressing world. Make her head receptionist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I used to write myself scripts to answer the phone because I would really? get like really bad anxiety. Aww. I don't we know. Baby at, Andrea. Um, when I worked in my sales job. Yeah. 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 It's just I don't know. It's easy, but then when people go off script, you're like, what do I do? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if you want to talk to me, call us and make yeah. an appointment and if you via don't, phone. You can go right to our website. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> if you're like. Fuck that girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk to this, this bitch. This bitch. Um, and then from there, we just need the main information is your wedding date. So fun. It's so important to have a wedding date before yeah. you come bridal dress shopping. You know, again, I think we've touched on this before, too. Mm-hmm. Like, just keep in mind that there are so many brides out there that actually have wedding dates that are not just playing dress up. Mm -hmm. They need to find their gown and the appointments. We can only take so many people, especially in a store where you can only take like two or three girls at a Mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Um, It's hard. So when people call and they're like, we've had people ask, can I play dress up? I'm like, "Mm, unfortunately, no. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's not a game. It It really is, you know, where these girls, you get paid by the hour. So it's not like, you know, Mm -hmm. it's not like we're just like sitting around twiddling our thumbs. There's a lot of stuff to do and there's no brides in here. So Well, usually too, if someone comes in or is like, oh, I don't have a date yet or a venue, but I want to tr- try on dresses. Like, yeah. that can't be something that happens on weekends. Like, oh, even, yeah, no, yeah. definitely not. Just because, like, there's so many brides out there who are cramming to, like, get their yes. dresses. So yeah. an appointment like that can't take up a weekend slot. Because yeah, no. Well, you re- honestly, you really shouldn't be mm-hmm. walking into a store. Like, if you want to do that. Though, I, I get if it. If you want to do that, I say go to <laughs> David's. Yeah. I mean, I get it, though, because you, I feel there's like a lot can, of anxiety. You, do, you can walk around David's on your own. And yeah. just kind of look yeah. at dresses and stuff like that. You'd be yeah. hard pressed to find a, a like a small business bridal shop, boutique, whatever it is, that's gonna just let you walk around and pull gowns and stuff like that. It yeah. just doesn't happen. Or like a no yeah. touching rule. Yeah, which I had most a bride of the stores once. here are. A bride like pulled me aside and was like, you know, that's a really kind of dumb rule. And I was like, why? Why is that dumb that you're not allowed to touch the samples? She was like, well, because I'm trying them on in here. And I'm like, OK, but you have like a couple dresses in here and I'm helping you. Right. And there's like yeah. versus four, like 450 touching dresses. Like, I, I mean, these are thousands of dollar dresses. Right. So like touching them, you know, we don't want anything to happen to these dresses and yeah. after time everything gets worn down so i think that's here's a good the thing rule. too when the dresses and I, I don't think that people think of this when the dresses are in the rack as you can see from behind us see how many dresses are on the pole when you go into the dressing room there's one dress in your dressing room you're not manhandling the dress to mm-hmm. pull it out mm-hmm. and go against other dresses it was hung up for you by a stylist yeah. and unzipped and stuff like that mm-hmm. we prep the dress before it goes in so when you come and you're like i want to look through the dresses people go to the racks and they're st- they start pulling the beads get stuck on each other zippers get stuck on each other buttons get stuck strings get pulled lace yeah. gets pulled people don't realize they're not in here like being completely they're just really placed in there but then squished together so they are touching so we ask you not to do that so we can keep them in good condition and again because eventually these are going to be you're going to be hard pressed to find a shop that is unless it's like david's (laughs) the d word unless it's the d word come at me (laughs) no don't (laughs) <laughs> no, I don't please, care. Please, don't. please. I don't but really give But also, shit. too, these dresses aren't just here for show because we have girls that come in that are pressed for time and have to and get... And have to buy off the rack. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. the thing is that if it was you, you would want a dress that was in better condition. And of exactly. course, we all know that it's as is and the dresses are samples and there is going to be a little mm-hmm. deterioration or whatever, let's just say. That's probably not the best way to use it. But what's the word I want to look for? Um... They're a little worn. They're a little loved. Uh, They're a little yeah. pre-loved. And some well, of them some are immaculate. Others. Some more than others. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's important for us to keep them. And I don't really, I don't know. I just, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like when yeah. I was a kid and we used to go to like shopping with my mom, mm-hmm. she'd mm-hmm. be like, don't touch anything. Well, another don't point to like not touching anything, but if you're like browsing the racks and you have like a, you know, two thousand dollar budget, budget. <laughs> yeah. Well, I said two at... because nothing's really fifteen anymore, yeah. which that there's needs some to be stuff, discussed. But yeah, it's there's like not the, a lot. It's the satin. If gowns. someone if someone has a fifteen hundred dollar budget, I'm gonna be like, I don't know what to pull for. There's like one it's, dress in the store. There's like a, only a few because <clears throat> what happened was our budget was around fifteen hundred to start, 
and we didn't ha- really have dresses that mm-hmm. were below that price point. Like that yeah. was our price point to start, and then it went up from there. But then as inflation hit, those dresses went up. So now those fifteen hundred dollar dresses are around like eighteen, nineteen, mm-hmm. two, yeah. or even when I say fifteen, I mean like fifteen to seventeen. So now you're you're jumping up now mm-hmm. a whole category, and we just don't have those fifteen hundred dresses dollar dresses. There's like one but or you two, can get, but buy a sample. Sample. Yeah. yeah. Again, some of the samples are so beautiful, mm-hmm. and they're not, you know, they're just in immaculate Again, or stupid in things that you, yeah, that you can like fix, like a little string yeah. or the yeah. seamstress can fix a button. Yeah. These things are non issues, and you can definitely get a dress, yeah. a designer dress for under that yeah. price. But you have to say, this is my budget, and I'm open to yeah. looking at samples. Mm-hmm. Be open to it. I, my dress was off the rack. But also with my dress came in. I was like, I'm taking it. You're paying for better quality dresses. Because our dresses, they have really good structure that really keep you held in place. Oh my God, the in our dresses. Yeah. Yeah, we've brought in, I'm not going to lie, and Andrea knows this because she's been with me the longest. We've brought in lower dresses and they've come and gone. There's no structure. They're made like absolute shit yeah they're just they're not nice the girls don't love them they look they're made they look listen cheap. you're getting what you're paying for mm-hmm. so they look that's cheaper the bottom line yeah so yeah, they like look cheaper. if there's some flexibility in that budget it helps you to you know really find the perfect dress for you yeah. i think and we're not saying again to like jump from like let's say your budget is two we're not saying oh open your budget to jump from two to five we're saying yeah. if you find something in that like 2500 mm-hmm. if you're able to do it but we we do realize that not everyone can do that and then yeah. and that's okay we're not saying that you have to bump up your budget but just keep in mind that to be things honest are going i feel up. like that's everything right now though like at me while i'm wedding planning everything is like oh well that's you have to bump up your budget like flowers i'm doing flowers right now and it's like mm-hmm. everything is almost like okay bump up that budget right so right. at one at one point where i wanted to spend no more than five thousand on flowers mm-hmm. we're we're up to eight now so it's like that's kind of just everything in the bridal industry right now i feel too yeah it's it's uh, Every, and it's the world us. it's not yeah. just the bridal industry it's literally the world yeah. and if you don't know what inflation is please step out of your mayonnaise jar <laughs> mayonnaise jar that's a new heard one. that one no Really? Yeah. That's some really funny, <laughs> unheard of saying. It means like you're living in a in a bubble. Yeah. Like, well, how, how do you that. not know what's I going on in the world? I, I've heard of under a rock. I've never heard out of your mouth. It's jar. so specific. I like mayonnaise jar. I could have um, said olive can. I don't know. I, I was thinking <laughs> olives too, actually. Because <gasps> I'm psychic. psychic. You really are psychic. Um. Okay, so back to this. Back to <laughs> Can it. Can we, like, talk about what to expect throughout your appointment like from start to finish yeah walk us through it well, me or do you want me to walk us through <laughs> it i mean we'll do it together we'll do it together it'll hands. be a team <laughs> effort under the table yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> we're playing footsie this as podcast is taking a crazy turn <laughs> listen i know your background i will stay away from you Don't oh touch. my god <laughs> <laughs> wow painting a picture of what me a nice for our fans. is that a volvo I think so, actually. <laughs> I'm a good segue queen. Continue. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so you made your appointment. Yes. You're coming in. You're greeted immediately by your stylist. Yes. And sometimes the whole staff, if we're all up front. <laughs> yeah, we're all like, Which Hi. is actually so intimidating. It's like, so weird. I feel, I feel really bad for the girls too. when that happens. Because we do, I would probably in the, turn around in the morning, <laughs> we all kind of uh, are like yeah. up front, like getting everything ready for the day. Yeah. And we do get those earlier brides. Yeah. Or the first bride or the second bride that mm-hmm. comes in. And we're literally all, and they're walking in like wide eyed yep. and been like, oh my God, like, like, what's going on? And we're like, so, we're all waiting for you. Yeah. I always make the joke. Like, oh, we're waiting for you. It's like a runway kind of too when you first walk in yeah. I don't know I just feel bad because the, you can tell they're like oh my god a thousand percent like, yeah I do and feel. I feel like they're already nervous because most of the time it's like the first time trying on dresses right exactly you don't know what to expect because <laughs> how often do you do this and then you have a whole staff reading you yeah Welcome. but I think we're friendly hi. people hi. so hi. Yeah. Blah, blah. we all have smiles could you all imagine <laughs> if you walked in we were all like what's up <laughs> Are you? What are you doing here? Literally. <laughs> do you need something? What are you doing in these parts? What, what can we do for you? <laughs> no, we're all very friendly, and you'll probably be offered water immediately. <laughs> yeah, that's usually um, go to. And then a stylist like myself. Someone used to do that. What? Like when they walked the door. Do you need a water? I'm like, they literally just walked in. <laughs> it was Amanda. Was it Amanda? Yeah. No, it wasn't. No, I think it was Amanda. 
Now, if, if you're Amanda's bride and she asks you immediately, let us know. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Usually, I mean, if you don't have the whole bridal or the whole party here to talk or like to get started with your appointment, um, we'll have you wait, sit down, get a yeah. little comfortable. I do. Then... Let me just say something really quick about that. I don't think you necessarily need your entire party to start. Like we want to no. talk to the bride. Yeah. So when you're like, oh, we'll just wait for this person. She's going to be 15 minutes late. Just keep in mind that's going to take 15 minutes off your oh, time. Yeah. You could be talking to your stylist and she if it's a couple minutes, that's one thing. But you should really start talking to your stylist so that she can pull for you while you're waiting now yeah. you don't have to start trying anything on but tell your stylist what you're looking for so that way she is um can start pulling yeah. and then yeah. you can just jump right into gowns because the longer well, you wait for your party the yeah. more the less time you have don't worry i'll immediately start our conversation yeah <laughs> i waste no time and we do ask the brides bring only three guests yeah. to accompany them it's it's not only because um we're trying to we're still trying to keep that circle small we're going into the fall we mm -hmm. know what's coming we know covid season is coming so that's gonna have to be Don't more like well that. i'm just saying we know it's <laughs> happening it happens every year yeah. it's been well happening. not only covid but like colds and, yeah. yeah but not only that too like if you're not it's feeling a tiny well, space. wear a mask it's, it is it a is, small it's space. It's not the biggest space in the world. So if you want to feel cramped, not I for say... nothing, though. It's pretty decent size compared to some other ones. Like, I've seen people, is, like, definitely. literally sitting on a bench yeah, in the dressing room with the girl being well, like, that looks great. Yeah. To paint a picture for you, it's <laughs> a couch, like a two-seater, and one chair. So it's perfect for three people. If you have right. more than that and you're trying to cram three people on a couch, it's a 90-minute appointment, and then you're sitting there like... Can we go? I'm uncomfortable. Yeah, because me personally, if I'm uncomfortable, I'm going to be like, let's get out of here. Well, also, too, it helps limit the opinions. You know, it what does. I mean, and true. I was going to say that, too. It does help to keep your circle small to the people that you really need. If you need that extra person, let's say you have a mom, a mother in law, and two mm -hmm. sisters, that's okay. Yeah. Um, but yes, it, 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 it is. Uh, All the bridesmaids don't need to attend. No. Yeah. You Definitely don't. not. You can oh show them your dress. That's Half fine. the time, I don't think all the bridesmaids necessarily care. I but mean, I think people are topic. overall like mm -hmm. happy for you. Um, but you can also book a private appointment. Yeah, that's true. If you want to have that big, oh, huge yes, thing, yeah. book a private appointment. And that is, um, yeah. That's it's $150 to reserve the spot. Yeah, you're and reserving the store. Yourself. It's yeah, just for, for you. Yeah. Nobody else is coming. I mean, we could get a walk in, <clears> but we're not helping them because we're going to say, Sorry. We're sorry. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. can't take another bride right now. And I think $150 to reserve an entire mm -hmm. store for 90 minutes is great. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. With like champagne and yeah, everything, exactly. you get the full treatment. Yeah. Like, like you're not yeah. you're not just getting like yeah, <laughs> VIB. Yeah. We need to think of like a really good name for it besides that one. Yeah. I know. VIB is different. very common. We need something with our name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you have any suggestions, let us know. I am so parched today. Really? Yeah, you like, keep chugging water. You're going to have to pee. I know. I did, <laughs> yesterday I peed like 25 times. Anyway. Um, yeah, so... And then you'll just have like that conversation with your stylist. You should have already filled out an interview form as well yes. before you even came into our store telling us a little bit about, you know, what you're looking for, what styles you think you might like. That interview form um, is so important because so it helpful. really gives us an idea of what you're looking for. So then sometimes I'll if I have a bride, I'll look her I'll look at her the day before in the appointments and I'll go to her interview and I'll actually jot down some dresses off the bat from like the venue she's talking about, how many, like, you know, what season, all the other things. And I'll decide like, oh, this dress actually fits perfectly. I'll pull this for her. Right. And then I'll have dresses ready to go for you before you even walk into our store. And then we'll have that conversation and I'll get even a better picture and then I'll be able to pull more dresses from our conversation. Also, so it's very helpful. Yeah. Also too, I know a lot of the girls want to try on every single dress here, <laughs> but then they get overwhelmed and confused because yeah. it's so many options. Yeah. Is. And don't forget too, when you come in and you're like, oh, I see 400 dresses, I'm going to try on like a hundred of them. The thing is that you're seeing 400 dresses the trends depending mm -hmm. on the season are going to be similar to each other your budget makes a difference your size makes a little mm -hmm. bit of a difference mm -hmm. um if you want sleeves like depending on what you want so your 400 dresses you're narrowing down to maybe like a dozen or so yeah. in the store that are actually going to work for you the reason why we have so many dresses is to give girls more options or to open it up more well so yeah. that everyone has options not just I'm going to try on 400 dresses. I want to yeah. say, too, trust your stylist because oh, for specifically, for example, 
Um, if someone comes in and they're like, I actually have no idea at all what I want, like I'll pull one of each style, something that's trending, something that's, you know, more classic, um, mm -hmm. different fitted styles, or, and then we'll start there. And then from there, I'm able to get an idea what type of lace you like, if you what type of neckline you like, and then as we go, I'll be able to narrow down what I think would be best for you. And typically, that works very well. Yeah, people of course. find their dresses very easily. Yeah, in I mean, that if way. you let your stylist like really tell your stylist like what you're looking for, she'll be able to like really help you. That's what we're there for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that's even what if you have no idea for a living. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't just dismiss it like, oh, she doesn't know. This is what we do. Yeah. Like this is our job. We do this all day long. Yeah, we're dress brides. I can. Always, That's our job. We I don't can, have another job. That is the job. Yeah. I I'd like to say I can always tell when the dress is the one before they even register that the Me dress too. is the one. I'm like, this is it. And like when I used to style, I used to strategically like put them in dresses. It's like kind of playing like psychological games like you let them think <laughs> but really you yeah. know in the back of your yeah. head because you can see by their whole demeanor like when they walk out in the dress that's the one I can tell immediately and I won't say it I won't be oh, like no. oh this is the one like you let them do it on their own but usually like 30 minutes into the appointment if the, the dress is there that you're gonna choose I already know it yeah yeah it's actually really funny how that works just based off of years ex of experience this is what my husband sends me while you're talking. What a jerk. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to go yesterday. Um, the electrician came, and then we had other the kids wow. need to go to, yeah. Wow, Paul. Terrible. Also, too, I think it's important that brides can say yes on the first dress that they try Absolutely. on. Absolutely. They think there's, like, this taboo. Like, like what else like is out there? Like, there's, like, this, like, unwritten... Well, not yeah. even. It's, like, a written rule saying that they can't. And you know what? When you find the dress, you found the dress. Yeah. Yeah. I think that that actually... We should talk about, um, and this is really important, sales. Mm -hmm. Like, like when the girl wants to say yes or she feels pressured yes. or... Again, oh like, God. that kind of mm -hmm. ties into what you just yeah. said about, like, you know, saying yes. Like, if you... If you find the dress, like, just go for it yeah like you don't yeah you don't have yeah. to do a bunch that uh, you don't have to try Actually, a bunch of different dresses one of the best things i was ever told by a bride was um i was like do you want to put your favorite dress back on and she goes honestly no because i don't want to lose that magic feeling of having that dress on she was like the less i try it on the more magic is there because the more i try it on it just becomes like any other dress interesting right that is and i was like wow that's actually really really smart it's like profound right <laughs> well so also, she tried to dress on two times and only two times and then okay. she was like that's my dress i'm not trying it on again because i want to hold on to that magical moment of like i found my dress really isn't that really yeah, i've never really heard cute? that that's fantastic i, love I like that. it also too i think sometimes we forget that we see these dresses every single day but brides literally see their dress when they try it on for the first time and say yes when they come try yeah. it on when and it it's comes new in. Alterations, alterations alterations and then the wedding so like yeah. five times yeah which yeah. is crazy well, we see them every day yeah yeah, yeah. which is interesting mm -hmm. that's actually another profound it's a lot of profanities profanities, profanities. <laughs> that's, that's right. wrong <laughs> i wanted to say prof never mind just forget it <laughs> so yeah i, I, I like definitely feel <laughs> I definitely feel like there is magic to be held on to there. I also wouldn't go into an appointment being like, I'm definitely going to cry when I find the one. It's probably that's not, not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. That's not Most realistic. of the girls don't cry. A family member will cry. Sometimes they do, but sometimes it, you don't. do. But Sometimes you do, but not you don't always. have to. Yeah. Yeah. You can know without, I, like, I didn't cry. I didn't cry. Yeah. Not a tear. Really My mom cried. Yeah. I mean, but I, I felt it in that dress. I was like, this embodies who I am. And I know if I get this dress, there's yeah. not going to be any regrets in it because I know how I feel in this dress. Mm -hmm. It was like a gut instinct of like, okay, this is the one. It was the first one I tried on too. So See? it happens. It does happen. Yeah. And I think it's okay that it could be the first dress. Yeah. yeah. But I, I don't think, again, I don't think you have to cry. I think that most of the girls, um, even when I used to be doing it, like I was with the brides all the time, a lot of them did not cry. And yeah. I used to tell yeah. them, you don't have to have bridal tears. Like, you just need to, you'll just, yeah. you just know that that's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's um, supposed to bring, like, a sense of comfort and relief. Like, the, like, a weight is lifted off your shoulders. Yeah. And I think what helped me a lot, too, um, with, like, dress shopping was, like, imagining the venue. 
and like fitting in with the venue. Yeah, I, I used think to that's tell the girls important. all the time. Think of yourself. Imagine yourself. Envision yourself mm-hmm. standing at yeah. the altar, walking down the mm-hmm. aisle, well, your altar, first wherever dance. your yeah your first dance. Oh, Put yourself in that moment, yeah. and then imagine it. Can you see yourself in this dress? Does this fit what you had in your yeah. head? And but then some girls are like, it's funny because some girls are like this isn't anything like I thought, yeah. but they know they love the dress and they know this is their dress. Yes, yeah, me. See, there you go. That's me. Never in a million years, I, I mean, Justin doesn't listen to us. Never in a million years did I think I was picking a satin gown. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but that's like we are. Corinne, too. Hated tool. Hated ball gowns. Hated, ball, hated Didn't sleeves. Want sleeves. <laughs> yeah. That's and you got everything. Every single you ball stood gown. Against. <laughs> ball gown, tool, and sleeves. Every tool dress I tried on, I absolutely hated. I was like, this is not my thing. Mm-hmm. I want satin. That's why sometimes, though, when a bride comes in and I read her interview already and I pulled a dress that she comes in and she's like, that's not what I want. I'm like, try it on. Right. Just try it on because you really that, genuinely that never know. That's the whole thing, like trusting your. Yeah. Because yeah. I'll look your at your stylist. venue and I'm like, oh, this try, is perfect. First of all, what's going to happen if you try on the dress and you don't like it? The girls that come yeah. here, they're like, no, 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 no. I'm like, uh, first of all. Without yeah. even trying it on. Without even trying it on. Because you can hate a dress on a hanger. 100% hate the dress on the hanger. And then try it on and be like, oh my God, this looks nothing well, like I thought it was going to look. That's like our new the TikTok series. Just did. Yeah, yeah. Hate it on the hanger. Because some of the dresses do look really different on the hanger versus oh on the body. Oh my God, like that one with the sleeves and like all chiffon. Yeah. It looks like a mummy dress on the hanger. It's and then awful. you put it on and it's And it's stunning. beautiful. It's it's stunning. I love that dress. It's so I pretty. Too. I would love to have like a really, like if you were doing like a low key like restaurant or like a little mm-hmm. garden wedding, oh, something really yeah. pretty. It's Maybe a good like dress. an, you know, like a, I don't know, something romantic. Yeah. I don't know. I just love that dress. It's so pretty. I would probably, was there, there was a little bit of a train on it. But honestly, if you're going to yeah. have that kind of wedding, just get rid of that. We know the designers that are a little bit slower, and we know the ones that are more on time, but we're not saying that to make you buy this dress, like, for the sale. We're saying this because we're genuinely concerned that you're going to literally get to two months before your wedding, a month before your wedding, and you're going to enter panic zone, and Mm -hmm. then you're going to be calling us, and you're going to say, where's my dress, where's my dress, where's my dress? I ordered this dress seven months ago, and we're going to be like, and that's exactly the reason why... Mm-hmm. We don't. I mean, yeah. I'm just saying, like, just using this as an example for timeline purposes, like the month and the seven months and stuff like that. But these are the things that happen. And the reason why, you know, you come to these bridal shops, we have all this information. And it is our job to make sure that you have all the information you need. If you don't want to take that information and use it in a responsible way, that's up to you. But you can't kick back right before the wedding and be like, where the F is my dress? Yeah. Because you were late to the game like you're every what's that i tell the kids all the time like my husband says um your lack of planning doesn't become other people's like we we can't rush it like we can't unless you want to pay the fee then we can do it sometimes sometimes not always there's still a couple of designers that won't rush yeah. there's no rush whatsoever. so i have to look at the computer and i'm like oh god i don't want to be an ass about it though like i'm i don't want people to think well she's saying like it's not going to come. It might not. It could come. Well, it depends on the designer. It depends a thousand on the designer. Percent. And that's our job, though, as stylists, to be able to, to inform say, you. Yeah. this dress, I 100% know, is going to come in time if you go with this other designer. But you're still cutting it close. You're still, yeah. Right. You're, still you're six close, months out. You're still getting that dress five months before your wedding. Yeah. Oh, wow. What? A shit ton of balloons just passed the building. <laughs> Oh my God. No, by themselves. Like they were oh, attached no to anyone. Them? Yeah, no. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay, continue. Sorry. Um, that must mean, maybe it's a sign. Um, Pennywise is here. <gasps> oh, are they red balloons? I don't know. No, I they were like it. pink and gold. I don't know why oh. we put Corinne on this side. I know <laughs> you are easily distracted I'm by people watch her. I'm I distracted. Know. I'm aware of my surroundings, Leah. Thank I'm very you. oblivious, actually. I'm very aware of everything that's going on around me. You are very hyper aware. I'm very aware. Like, I know someone yeah. who's behind me. Oh. Ew. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that scared me. Like, I was checking. <laughs> I'm making sure. Okay. You know what? That's terrible to say on the podcast. I don't know nothing. What? I don't want people to be oh. like, I'm going to sneak up on her now and see if she sees me. Fuck that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't okay. really like dropping so, the F-bomb. Well, whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> Continue. So, yes. Yeah, 
yes when it comes to tr- again it just circles back to trust your stylist <laughs> like at the end of the day i want what's best for you i want to make sure that at the at your wedding day you're not like oh, i wish i chose a different dress oh god or no. oh i wish you know i i want at the end of the day for you to be so happy confident and like just radiating like yeah. that beauty and inner confidence on yeah. your wedding day so i'm not out to get you i'm not out to oh be like god. just buy a dress it's the hubs the hubs oh my god he's facetiming all right hold on hi can i i'm on the podcast i see yes oh wow you went far okay i have to call you back because i'm on the podcast babe Babe, is he just showing off? He's showing. I have to call you back. I'm on the podcast. Yes, it looks beautiful. Okay, I have to call you back. I hung up on him because he doesn't. He can't hear me because he's on the boat. So what is the point of calling you? Jealousy. <laughs> Look at me. I'm on the boat, and he's very excited. Is he by himself? No, he went with Sid, and he, oh my god, he keeps. I'm. I'm. T- okay, let me just text him. Tell him I'm doing the podcast because he won't stop now. You need to stop immediately. <laughs> Are they like tubing and? Jet, like water skiing jet skiing no because he goes oh he's like look at how combed my hair looks because the wind <laughs> is blowing his hair back <laughs> um he's very excited right now because he hasn't really been on the boat at mm-hmm. all and they went all the way out to robert moses so he's very thrilled i'm oh, jealous nice. yeah I he's, know. and he said it's really nice he said it's actually a little bit what cold are you doing monday I'm, Monday's Labor Day. Ooh. Yeah. I'll ask We're him. all off. I'll see. Yes, I have no are. plans. I have no plans. I'm, I decided I'm going to start telling people that I don't have days off. <laughs> Why? Oh, because so you get no plans? Because everyone bothers me. Yeah, I have mm-hmm. two days off, and then it's, like, booked. And it feels like not a day off at all. Yeah, so that's what happens that's my to me. Yesterday, I was so tired. I'm exhausted. like, my days at work are more relaxing than my days off. <laughs> That's oh, no. sometimes I feel like that too. Because yeah, we we come here and we do things, yeah. but it's like it's no one's. You're doing, but like, it's like yeah. work rela- like, no like one's I there know to in like, my head. There's no pets. There's no kids. Yeah. There's no, no husbands. There's no, yeah, there's yeah. no cl- different different type of. <sighs> yep. Um, wait, going back to the other thing, we were talking about um, getting like pressured. I think that it's it's key to know that like those saying those things is not pressuring into the sale. Coming out with a bottle of champagne and popping it, and being like, "So you said yes." That's pressure, that pressure. for yeah. the sale. Oh my god, that's not. I could never imagine. I've, girls have come in here and said it to me, being like, "The girl came out with the bottle, popped it, and was like, this is your dress,'" and she was like, "Wait, wait, 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 wait." Yeah. I would never. I would be if my stylist did that. I was. I would be mortified. Yeah. I don't want people to ever have like buyer's remorse. Yeah, never. So I don't want them to leave like that. No, I, I want, want you to be to comfortable, but I experience. want you to have all your information. I want you to be comfortable, but I don't want you to come to me at the end and say, why didn't you? Yeah. I did tell you. You weren't paying attention. Yeah. That's not my problem. Oh. Like I'm giving you. No, meaning <laughs> oh, like yeah. because you're not. Yeah. I wouldn't want someone to come to me like you made me buy this dress and I didn't oh, want yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously, I can't twist anybody. Like, you, you can't make some like, you know what? Some people no, are I think easily you have to be convinced. Very convincing. Yes, I think some people can be easily but convinced. But you have to. I mean, I well, feel like you can. I'm saying I don't. Tell. I don't want people to have buyer's remorse. So me and Leah went to the gym, and they had this like class going on, and the guy was so pushy about the class. Some people are very pushy, and they're good salespeople. I'm just oh not God. that. I'm. I feel like you can get more. Yeah. And like honey. me and Leah, mm-hmm. we were just like, no, it's okay, like it's okay, whatever. And he just like wouldn't really like let. We were up. like, we have to go to work, and he was like, oh, that's okay, you can leave early, go to the class. And it was just like pushing, yeah. pushing, pushing. Me. You should have Facetimed me, and I've been like, no, no, yeah. you like, know, I would have totally. Oh, it, you should have done that. That would have been so fun. I love um, their shit. boss. Yeah, they have they to cannot be. Here. be what do you mean you can leave early shut your mouth but like it's really such a turn off <laughs> when people are so pushy with like one thing when you've already said like no you know what yes, i mean exactly yeah. like you should be very comfortable in that decision but yeah you should have all and your at the end of the day i do understand that like this is a big decision too so it is a big decision. if you're it's like on the fence yeah. and you're like i need to sleep on it i just say like listen i can guarantee like that it's going to be delivered today only like i could come in tomorrow well, to every day the dates change yeah exactly so that or the doesn't, prices could change too that's like true that's too. what we've been seeing in the in this past summer and spring just mm-hmm. because of inflation like yeah i'll come in 
one day and the dress is X amount and then I'll come in the next day and it's like hundreds of dollars more right. just because that's what the designer is doing and we have no sway on that. Yeah. So no, we have I no mean, control of it. I did, I have to say, to be <clears throat> honest with all the people, I was very, and you guys know this too, I, I tried to, I hold, held out for as long as I possibly yeah. could with raising the prices. I couldn't hold out that's any longer sure, yeah. because at that point I was like, okay, we're starting to lose money. Like, yeah. and, and the thing is that you have to keep in mind, it is a business and the object of a business to keep my doors open is to make money, to get to the next day. If I'm breaking even or losing money, I'm not going to get to that next day. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's not the way the world works. That's yeah. not the way business works. So even like when people come in here and they're like... I know this is negotiable. Um, no, oh, it's not negotiable. This, this isn't a flea market. But I just exactly. have to say, this coming out of designer. COVID, you know how a lot of people were raising their prices, like uh, hairstylists. Yeah, like we're not charging stuff. service fees. Yeah, no. no. But like, you never it. raised your prices. I it didn't. was only until this recent. Um, I had to because yeah. they went up. All, I think some of them went up up to almost fifteen percent. Some yeah. of them, and I was just like, oh god! Like I was trying everything in my power yeah. not to raise the prices. Um, even with like shipping, shipping was outrageous. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my god, what do we do with like the unique vintage clothes and things mm -hmm. that were shipping? Like the shipping was going up. I'm paying like forty dollars to send a simple box out, and I'm like, yeah. who? How do you? How do businesses make any money with that situation? So just like I said, keep in mind that. You know, it, yeah. it, unfortunately, this is the way it is right now. Like, yeah. you can't, you know, I, I don't. The problem is I don't think it's ever going to go back because have you ever seen it go backwards? Like, milk's never, never going to be 25 yeah. cents again. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Someone told me the that these cigarettes market. are $16 a, 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 oh, a pack. I believe it because they really want people to stop smoking anyway. So which they is keep, fine. Like, and, and I still see people smoking outside, which I find crazy. I know. But I'm like, really? Six, you're paying almost $20 for a pack of cigarettes? Yeah. That's, that's absurd. Yeah. I'd be like smoking a cigarette a day. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I was a smoker. So like, I yeah. can understand like why people are smoking. But well, that's a lot of freaking... Even... Money. That's what I'm saying. Inflation. Hold I know. Yeah. Case in point. My, I know people that have like those little vape things, whatever. Oh, the vape pens, yeah. I, I personally think it's stupid. No offense to anyone that does it, but. I think some people do it as like a calming, like it's soothing. And that's yeah. why people it's smoke. It's more nicotine too. than cigarettes. Yeah. So you're just getting a nicotine addiction. I don't addiction. really know that much about it. Oh I vaped God. for like two weeks when I stopped smoking like oh, really? 10 years ago. And I think that's like, what it's meant for, is well, like to ease you off of yeah. smoking. That's cigarettes. not what a lot of people use it for, though. No, not so at all. I was like, okay, everyone was vaping, and I was like, okay, I'm like, I'll do it. This was like nine years ago, whatever the heck it was that I stopped smoking cigarettes. Um, started vaping two weeks in, and it wasn't like the little pens; it was the ones where you like pour the oil. And I was like, this is way too much work for yeah. me completely went stopped and you know you're always like how do you stop things like cold turkey like that corinne does not get addicted to anything like no i get addicted to everything i just stop hardcore <laughs> no it's cold turkey or nothing like it's even <laughs> with coffee she's like oh it's making me sick hasn't touched a cup of coffee since, since. november yeah wow. yeah and i'm upset because now the fall's coming and this is my favorite coffee season oh, oh i know uh, maybe treat yourself every like once in a while i can't i literally almost died that night that i had caffeine i drink no caffeine at all no, the only thing that I would say that has caffeine that I drink is like or eat is like a piece of chocolate. And I don't think oh. that has like enough caffeine to make I don't me think sick. It has a lot at all. Yeah. yeah. And I don't eat any kind of like I try not to eat like sugary things at night because yeah. they keep me up. I get the jitters. So whatever. But I don't want to talk about it because I really want my freaking Aw, cinnamon dolce latte. Well that oh, and I love it my, in her face. <laughs> <I don't show. laughs> my pumpkin spice lattes. I know, latte is I my know favorite. all of Corinne's orders. It's actually so funny. Yeah, she does. You know her credit card. And her credit card is my heart. Card <laughs> <or> my heart. <laughs> Now I had, the other day I was like, Andrea, what's my number again? I forget. <laughs> and I was the one that knew it first. Yeah. And then I gave it to Andrea and she was like, how do you know it? And now she now, knows yeah. it. And now I don't use it. She uses it more. So I don't, I don't even know it. That's so funny. Isn't I know. It? Isn't I don't even so have my stuff memorized, but. Mm, well, we use that card enough. So it's, <laughs> it's great. Hopefully you get points. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So what else? I mean, that's pretty much what your appointment's going to look like. You're going to try on a bunch of dresses. Mm-hmm. Um, as many as it takes, usually. You have the 90 minutes. Um, but I think as long as you come in with an open mind and are willing to try on 
dresses even the ones that don't look as cute on the hanger or what mm. you th- thought you would like buy off from a hanger yeah try it on trust your stylist yeah. i feel like those don't are get all mad the key at us points when you touch the dresses yeah, <laughs> yeah oh those are like God. that's like such a key thing like tell your family like we don't want to have to say to them yeah can you please sit yeah and also too i will say and other people have brought this up if the family that's across from you is uncomfortable and they're all wearing masks and they're like kind of like okay well we did we abided by the three mm-hmm. and then you your party is getting up and walking around you're gonna make those people feel uncomfortable yeah. like that's why we say please stay seated you're being courteous to the other people that are in the shop that mm-hmm. may not be yeah. as comfortable if you're uncomfortable and vice versa like if you are the uncomfortable one you know tell us you know they, they keep getting off we feel we feel like yeah. you know we bought you can say that to us we'll yeah. be like oh my god you know immediately we will go over there and be like listen can you please sit down yeah. you're making those other people feel uncomfortable but don't be like a Karen about it obviously yeah. but yeah. you know yeah. But like we're our main thing is like me make people remember wait, can we talk about the lady that came in and I was like Ugh. a thousand percent. I was waiting for you to bring it up. I was gonna bring it up before <laughs> and I forgot. Okay, so this is my funny story for the day. Okay, so we're um whatever, it's a walk in lady, there's something going on on the streets, whatever. So um she walks in and what does she say? What was the So she I was greeted like, her, I was like, Oh, Hi, yes. how can I help you? Do you have an appointment See, today? Because we're by <laughs> appointment only. So I was like, Do you have an appointment with us? She goes, No, I I'm I i just want to look. And, and I was like, Okay. Let me just say, wait, to let's just say she was an older woman. Not to say yeah. that she wasn't getting married, but she walked in with a man. So I don't think that she was getting married. She no. literally was she just, just like, to I look. want to play with the dresses yeah like it, and, and i'm talking about probably like a 75 year easily yeah. at least 75 i would say so i said oh, to wow. her i was like i was like okay perfect like yeah, just we just around. i was like we just asked that you don't touch the dresses she goes what do you mean i can't touch the dresses <laughs> literally just like that too and i was like oh and well we just we want to keep them as clean as possible so if you could just like not touch the dresses and like, she I got can like help nasty you. with you she got so nasty and i was me. sitting on the couch and i looked over and i was like oh i'm like and so sweet i yeah. swear just like this just, i swear yeah, to I everything Thing. I was like, it's not that we don't want you to touch the dresses. It's just that, you know, we try to, we mm-hmm. have to resell them. And she looked at me and was like, what did she say? Oh, she God. goes, she was like, that's ridiculous. She goes, well, there's other bridal there's stores. There's other bridal stores. How mm-hmm. am I supposed to look at the yeah. dresses if I can't she touch them? She like so Snippy nasty. with both of us. It wasn't, and I was like, this was beyond snippy. I know. This was full on. If this woman could have walked over and punched us in the face, she literally would have. Yeah. Like, that's full crazy. on. Like, I'm surprised she And, then she, and then she looks at her person, husband, and she's like, let's go. And I'm like... So as she goes, we'll go somewhere else to look at dresses. Once again, unless you're going to the D word. The D word. The D word. That's what we're calling it from now on. Unless you're going to the D word, you are 100% not thumbing through the dresses at a store. I don't know what. I don't know where. I want to But like, would you go to a jewelry store and be like touching all the like. Could you imagine if I went across the street to K and was like, let me just get all up in there and take out all your jewelry. Let me touch every single diamond here. Yeah. Like Like, you wouldn't do that because it's thousands of dollars and you're trying, like at the end of the day, these dresses that are on our racks now that are just the samples are going to be purchased when those dresses are discontinued. Hopefully. Well, even too, when you go to like a Louis Vuitton (laughs) or like an expensive like like, designer store. Don't touch the bag. (laughs) Yeah. You have to have a person <laughs> like, with you. Put gloves on. Yes. Like, yeah. So, I don't it's know. It's just so funny. I don't, again, like, they're like, oh, it's no big deal. It's only a $3,000 dress. Hello? It's a $3,000 dress. Yeah. Or you should be like, rip it, you buy it. <laughs> I'm going to put up signs. Yeah. We're going to walk around with, like, hats. <laughs> a like, visor? Fat brimmed. Oh, fat brimmed. Fat brimmed, hats. like, hats. And Post they're gonna to like touch. there's gonna be like but a like, digital display <laughs> that <spinning>. turns. <laughs> the Do not touch the dresses. <laughs> like a taxi driver. Sit your ass <laughs> down. <laughs> The, the thing that bothered me the most about that, like, time, though, is I was so nice. You were so nice. We were, like... I was so nice to her. I was, like, oh, my God. Because she got so upset. I was, like, I can help so you. Upset. Like, if you want to see got, any of the dresses, I'll pull it yes. out for you. But she got so upset. And that's why I tried to kind of jump in and be, like, oh, it's not that. It's just that, you know, we try to keep them... Like, she... Yeah. Like, her head started spinning into a different dimension. I was, like, lady... And then she walked out, and I had... Choice words. I had words, but she wasn't even out the door yet. Yeah. Uh, 
But I mean, because I was like, that's crazy. You're human too. So how are you supposed to react when someone? It's very hard because you're not supposed to react. And I've had people literally get in my face, scream at me, and I'm not supposed to have a reaction. Like how? It's so hard too. And I've been in retail since I'm 17 years old. And I remember at my other jobs, which most of them are not even in business Mm -hmm. anymore, showing my age, but. They would be like, go let Corinne handle it. Because I was always the one that could like that talk <laughs> customers like off. Yeah. You know, you have to have that yeah. type of like customer service yeah. thing. And I was always that person. But I will tell you, in my old age, I'm just like, you should know better. Yeah. And then another thing is too, is and I know this is gonna sound really stupid, but a lot of people will look at me like the moms and they're like, What do you know? You're like 20 35 oh years old. and I'm like I'm not 35 years old I have three teenagers I'm gonna be 46 like please stop you're being a pick me why <laughs> they think I'm like I'm 26 so how many I'm people so say young. that though no, it's true, it's that was true. rude <laughs> it's fine I would never what, look at you and what's be like what's your face's mom to that though like they're like what you, the girl yeah, that yeah. Like, the lady that came in that day. Everyone she was like, "No, you don't know." I'm like, "What are you talking about?" I'm like, "I was born in the 70s." Like, are you well, joking? That's yeah. like, but that's like when people come to me with alterations and they're like, "Well, you don't like you don't look old enough to be a seamstress." I've been sewing since I'm ten. Like, that's I'm not a saying lot of time. I don't look like I'm twenty. I'm not saying that. No, you do. Look I'm young. just saying everyone that thinks, people. Yes, but everyone people. Everything's you and Gianna are sisters. Oh, that's terrible. But <laughs> I just think that like it's it's when they say, "Oh, you don't know," I'm way above you. I'm like. How old are you? And then they're like 50. I'm like, okay, you're four years older than me. Like, yeah. you're not... Well, I'm, I'm pushing it. I'm no, not 46 yet, people. You look really good for your age. That's... Whatever. No, I don't. But that's besides the point. Now Pick I'm going to say it. <sighs> I'm giving Andrew the finger. <laughs> okay, well, we, all, we all have worlds. pick me moments. <laughs> Andrea has a lot of them. I just... So I just <laughs> feel like that. I just don't love it. Because they look at you like... Oh, I yeah. know. I don't love that because no, it's like that. it doesn't matter if Gianna went up to them or Leah went up to them at 25 and said the same thing. Like they've Leah has said things to people and they're yeah. like, well, I need to speak with her. But I'm telling you the same thing she's telling you. Yeah. So the, that's why I'm just saying like it doesn't matter the age. If someone's good at their job, they're good at their job. Exactly. Yeah. It doesn't exactly. matter how old they are. They're not going to. I mean, I just feel like at 18, I was doing it. It's kind of discrimination. Age discrimination. I guess. You know. Or it's like the way that you look or whatever. People yeah. just don't, they just don't accept it because they're like, well, I want, especially like, like the older generation, they yeah. want someone older to tell them, well, this is it. Like this, I'm as old as it comes in here. Yeah. So if it, if it does, if it's going to stop with me, then. I think come for on. a small business though, too, like you're very selective on who works here. I'm very yeah. selective so, like, on who works here. The people here. who work here, I mean, majority of us have already had exper- extensive experience in bridal or fashion design degrees. Yes. Like, we know we what don't, we're talking about. And I will say, we don't get, when we do, when I do interviews, we don't get flooded with applications, but I'm extremely selective on who I pick. And, it, and I need people that are going to, like, first of all, mesh well with us. And... My interviews, if anyone came on an interview, is more like a conversation mm-hmm. because I want to see how you are as a person. I don't want me and Andrew make this. I make this joke all the time. I don't care what you're going to do in five years. I do. But you're going <laughs> to tell me any bullshit story you want to because you're going to want the job. Yeah. So like, I'm not going to say. During my interview, you literally were looking through my resume. I don't care about the waitressing experience. Yeah. Because <laughs> I did it. Yeah. I was like, let's talk just about talk. That. and have. And there's been girls that I've wanted to hire so bad. Yeah. But we do get, let's say we put on an applicant or you know a thing for to take apps and we'll get like let's say a dozen girls or a half a dozen girls i can only hire one yeah i know so it's like it's so hard for me to be like i have to pick one person so you know Mm -hmm. especially like the last couple of girls i feel bad because the last interview round that we had the girls were all amazing Mm -hmm. and it was so hard to pick and i was like how do you pick from a really good batch of people but it was like i went with Elle because she had bridal experience honestly well and then you too what about me? When I hired you, the you had bridal experience. experience. Yeah. So it was like, you know, you want girls that already Because you already know. like, And bridal is different from all other retail. But we have had a couple of girls that came in with bridal experience. And then we were like, oh, God. Yeah. No, that wasn't oh, a good really? interview. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or customer service experience. And then you ask them the question and they'll be like, the one girl, what would she say? Oh, God, I hate working at the front desk. I'm like, uh. I don't think you asked me any of those types of questions. I, well, because it was mostly on your resume. And like I said, it's more of a conversation. But yeah. I had said, it wasn't me asking her. I said, what did you do there? 
And then she said, I worked the front desk. I said, oh, how did you like it? Or whatever the question I asked. And she turned around and goes, oh, God, I hate working up front with the people. I'm like, this is not the job for you, (laughs) sweetheart. So now it's like, I want to hire. Like, she seems adorable. But now I'm like, well, you just basically told me that this is not the fit place for you. I think you choose people that show, like, drive, initiative, like... I don't know. You choose yeah, the good like, people. Yeah, I try. Mm-hmm. I think everyone's like tries to people work with people mm-hmm. that will mesh well. But again, we don't get a ton. But like this last one yeah. was hard. It was hard. But then I feel like because you're so selective on who works here, everyone has great experience already. Yeah. If right. you go to some place that's not a smaller business and is just like corporate, mm-hmm. you're not going to get that same passion and that same like background experience. It's just kind of going right. to be like, you know, this is my job. This is my job it's like part time like yeah. it is I, it's just what I do to make ends yeah. meet like everyone you know? here I feel like their motive is to not like grow always, the business but, but yeah but I know what you're saying yeah. it's to grow the business because I can know. say that because I came from two different aspects where working in corporate and then working for a small business and the difference is tremendous oh tremendous because yeah. I worked in corporate for retail for a long time and I'm just like oh my god mm-hmm. like and it is different when you own it also but yeah. still like just the customer service it's part of it so different yeah, because at the end of the day, when you're working for like a corporation, you could just be like, "Not my problem." At the like, essentially, you yes, could be like, exactly. "I have no sway." Blah blah blah, and then just hang up because yeah. you don't talk to but those we do, overhead yes, people. But we do still have to adhere, and this is kind of goes back to like when you come in, and you ask us questions that are outside of what we can do. We still have designers that we work with. Mm-hmm. We have reps that we work with. We have contracts that we sign mm-hmm. to get have these designers in our stores. There are certain things that we are not able to do mm-hmm. or like people but within will say, our store it's like yes. i can easily talk to you i could be like right. Karen, i have yeah. a question about like this one situation is there anything we can do right whereas for a corporation it. it's yes. just like sorry out of my hands boom hang up right yeah like there's nothing you yeah. can do at that point point. No, and if exactly. there if you did push a situation like that they threaten your yeah. job <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> <From> true <experience. laughs> it's true but again like with that said like there are certain things that it's like if we do that if if we try to bend over as, uh, backwards for as much as we possibly we can do, to help people say. out and to work with you but at the end of the day we can't do that all the time or do if we do one thing then all of a sudden we have to do it for everyone yeah. and that if it's going to be something in the long run that's going to be not hurt the business then we can't like there's certain things that we have set in place that we don't yeah. break those rules because like the no exchange policy there's a reason why we have yeah. that in place yeah. Yeah. the no returns there's a reason why these things are in place I didn't just sit down one day and was like you know what let me just fuck everybody <laughs> like it wasn't it didn't work like that I was just yeah. like okay well, these are things that you well yeah but even you know again like you want to stay in business I want to yeah. be here I want to keep helping brides that's really what it is at exactly. the end of the day well which is why contracts are in place and everything too so gotta love a contract yeah. and then going back to your appointment I mean it's best to go into your appointment I think knowing like if you <laughs> I'm thinking continue I'm listening to you um, I think it's best if you go into your appointment saying if if I were to say yes to the dress today, I can purchase that dress because, like we said before, it just things change so fast yeah. in this industry. So if you wait so a week, fast. Yeah. it couldn't be a different, a, a completely different story. So Super speedy, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but that's pretty much what to expect when you're coming in for your appointment, plus other things. Yeah, plus <laughs> other things. I mean, yeah, we always go off on little. We're things not a very stuffy bridal store, like at all. No, we're definitely no. not. We're much more like laid we're back. We're gonna be your and friends. Yeah, one hundred percent. We're not can't just even a sales us. Yeah, like it, it is. It definitely is more than that. But again, like it shout is. out to all my brides who follow me on Instagram, and I follow you back, and we you know chat constantly. <laughs> like they're actually my friends. Going out to lunch with my brides, like my circles. <laughs> Now. Oh my god. You're going out to lunch with your brides? Yes, sometimes. Oh, cute. I love it. Well, now our phone's ringing. I know. So I guess that's where we should end it because yes. we have to finish our day. And um, all right. So that's it, ladies. Thanks for listening. It was lovely. Thank you for listening. Yes. And Any we'll questions? Write them send in. Send us our, a DM. Yeah, send us in a DM or put it below in the YouTube. Yep. Bye, guys. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. <laughs> Goodbye.